Everyone loves water gun fights in the summer. Just for fun, I decided to add some simple electronics and turn it into a game similar to laser tag. I did this by making a basic water sensing circuit that beeps whenever the sensor is sprayed with water. Now I know a lot of you might be concerned about mixing water and electronics, but don't worry. The control circuit is well sealed and we're working with such small amounts of electricity that you couldn't get shocked anyway. Here's the circuit that I designed for this project. It's a slightly modified version of a 555 timer circuit in monostable mode. Whenever a drop of water lands on the sensor, it connects pin 2 to ground. This causes the buzzer to sound for a few seconds. The water sensor can be any configuration of wires running parallel to each other where the adjacent wires are connected to opposite terminals. First, I prototyped the circuit on a breadboard. To make a very basic water sensor for testing, I just attached some bent paper clips to a second breadboard. Once all this was working, I made a finished version with all the parts soldered to pieces of perf board. This water sensor worked pretty well, but stray drops of water had a tendency to get stuck between contacts on the board, leaving the alarm stuck on. To solve this, you can wrap the tops of the sensors with tape and coat the whole thing in a few layers of spray-on sealer or paint. When you're done, only the bare portion of wire should sense water. The last thing that you need to do is mount the circuit inside an insulated project enclosure. You want to make sure that the lid makes a good seal with the body of the housing so no water will get inside. Now your water tag system is complete and ready to try out. To play a game of water tag, just put the control circuit inside your pocket and attach the sensor to your clothes with a safety pin or a binder clamp. You can also set up the sensor on a stationary platform and use it as a target shooting game. Use your imagination and have fun. Thanks for watching, and check back next week for more DIY hacks and how-tos.